so we are on the way to grocery store and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna buy exactly when I'm in the store I live in Cyprus so this is just a quick video if you wanna see how it looks like so this is the tourist street the Mediterranean Sea is right over there it's a bit cloudy but the sun is coming out now so this is how it looks and the grocery store which I'm going to is right around the corner here. So here I am in the store and uh, I'm gonna get eggs now. so difficult to film and take things you need at the same time plus carry the story you cannot imagine so I took uh, burst eggs and now I'm gonna be taking some uh, minced meat so I just got minced meat out of the and I'm gonna get some veggies now so now I'm taking the rest of the things and when I finish, we'll get home and start cooking. It's very important for you guys to know what you have to eat to build muscle. You have to take care of your fats, of your carbs and of your protein. If you don't have enough of any of those, you are gonna lack energy. If you lack protein, there is gonna be not enough protein to build up your muscle after your training. So you're gonna be exhausting your muscles and they're gonna be getting smaller every time you train and then you have a nice meal after that and throughout the day you're eating very nicely this way you're gonna build up muscle really really well it's gonna get bigger stronger and you're gonna be losing fat as well but for me now I'm just bulking so I take care of my food I cook it in advance and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make for the next three four days now it's gonna be minced beef, chicken and broccoli. I also already have rice ready, so I'm just gonna show you how I cook the rest of the things. So to start off I'm going to heat up the frying pan and I'm gonna clean out these chicken breasts and cut them in pieces. So I cut up and clean the chicken this is about like five or six uh, chicken breasts I couldn't use everything because this is way too much I'm gonna cook the rest a bit later maybe in like a couple of days so I'm gonna cook this chicken on this grill machine so I'm gonna leave it like this for around like five to seven minutes meanwhile I'm gonna start cooking the beef And I put the meat. So I just spread it evenly in the pan. The chicken is getting almost ready. It looks really good. It's recommended not to add uh, salt to the beef until it's almost ready because I think it dries it out a lot but it's fine to do that with chicken or fish so the first half of the chicken is ready and I'm going to put it in a sealed container looks really yummy and it's high of protein so the beef is almost ready so we can salt it now as I said we better do it in the end of cooking also some pepper if you like so it's almost done and I'm just gonna cut some onion into it it really makes a huge difference if you cook it with or without onion so this is how it looks when it's ready so the last thing I'm gonna do is uh, cook some broccoli as well 
I'm just gonna put it inside with a little water, close the thing and leave it like that for around 10 minutes. I'm not putting too much water, just a bit so it can steam. So the broccoli is almost done. I'm gonna leave it for another like 4 or 5 minutes. Looks really good. I'm gonna add some olive oil and salt to it. And this is the chicken. Really, really yummy. Believe me, try to do it the way I told you, you're gonna love it. And this is the beef with onion. And this is rice from before I cooked it with a rice maker. So, the final product and the broccoli. I, all, I have it all in the container so I can keep it in my refrigerator and when I need it I just use the microwave. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that these recipes do help you. This is really, really one of the best methods to prepare your food. If you're gonna need a lot of food, you cannot cook it every time. It's better to cook in advance. So thank you for watching and if you liked the video please like it, subscribe to my channel and leave some comments. I'll be glad to answer any of your questions. Thank you and have a nice training.